This episode of Android Weekly is brought to you by Domain.com. Google Photos. Is it just a great new service that uploads all your photos and videos for free? Or is it a maniacal ploy to deprive you of your privacy and steal your data? Maybe a little of both. So what is Google Photos and what is it not? The service allows you to automatically upload all your photos and videos to the cloud for free and without a limit on storage, with a couple of limitations. Photos cannot be bigger than 16 megapixels, they'll be automatically downscaled if they are, and videos must be 1080p resolution or lower. Google Photos is available as an app on Android and iOS, or you can use it through your web browser. It provides you with a single location for all your photos that's accessible from all your devices. There are a lot of services trying to solve the same problem, but Google Photos has some major advantages over the competition. It's free, unlimited, and really good at organizing your photos, making them searchable and curating them. That means you can search by location, by date, by event, or by using a variety of keywords. For example, type beach into the search box and you'll see all your photos with a beach in them. The Photos Assistant also creates highlight videos and GIFs for you to share, taking the pain out of editing things together by yourself. This isn't a new idea, but as with so many things, Google is a little better at doing it than most of the competition. Now you've probably heard the adage, if you are not paying for the product, then you are the product. And this is true in the case here. Yes, Google is an advertising company, that's how they make most of their money, but more specifically, they are a search advertising company, and that means that to be effective, they need to know as much about you, their searcher, as possible, so that they can deliver to you relevant ads and Google is exceptionally good at doing that. I can't remember a time in the past two years where I've done a search and I haven't gotten relevant ads. I mean ads that I actually care about and for Google to do that they need to know as much about you as possible. So they give us these great free products. I mean who gives you better free products than Google but they come at a price. They take our data and they use it to advertise to us. So Simon Hill, who is the author of this article, will tell you that it really comes down to whether or not we trust Google with our data. Google is going to know where you took these photos, who you took these photos with, and what you were doing in those photos. Do you trust Google to do whatever they want with this data? Because the legalese says that they basically can do whatever they want with those photos. So do you trust them? A product like Google Photos falls under the Google's terms of service. That means that when you upload your photos, you are having the tech giant license to host, store, reproduce, modify, create derivative works, communicate, publish, publicly perform, publicly display, and distribute those photos. There you go, Google believes that they can basically do anything they want with these photos. Now, I don't think the question is, do you trust Google? The only real answer to that is, you can trust Google to be a for-profit corporation. If they can get away with it legally and from a public PR perspective, they're going to do it. The question is, are we web savvy enough? Are we just privacy savvy enough to be conscious about what we put online? I'm going camping in a couple weeks with my family. Uh, I don't think there's anything uh, that you know I would post or upload to my private file that uh, if we're hacked, I wouldn't want distributed or I wouldn't be able to accept being distributed. But let, let's be clear, there are photos that I would not want to be shared publicly. So I am not gonna risk putting them in my Google Drive account, which could be mistakenly misplaced or copied by someone else, or I could get hacked. So I'm just not going to upload those. I'm going to share those very, very privately and just be conscious and careful about those things. This idea that you can not use Google Photos and that's somehow going to protect your privacy is, you know, belying the fact that if you're using any Google products, they also know a lot about you already. So just a reminder, I'm still looking for the very best androidrelated.com domain name in the comments below. And the one I like will get one of these t-shirts uh, no matter where you are. If you're in, I don't know, Punchgunny, India, I am sending you a t-shirt. If you're in San Sebastian, Spain, I am sending you one of these puppies because the .com matters. Why? Because no domain name extension tells your story with the same level of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. And who doesn't want more credibility? You can save 15% on domain name and web hostings when you use our coupon code ANDROID at domain.com checkout. Don't forget, 15% off when you use our coupon code ANDROID. When you think domain names, 
thinkdomain.com. Thanks for watching guys. Love to connect with you right here on Google Plus or Twitter. I will be watching the comments below for all your Android related domain names and I will try and choose the very best domain name on uh, Sundays or Monday mornings, Android Weekly. So come up with your submissions by then to get the t-shirt. Don't forget about my brothers in Android who are trying to be your source for all things Android. Check them out.